Hi, this is James Headley. Welcome to the Living in Naples channel. As I shared before, very recently, I'm in the process of expanding my business uh, while still serving Southwest Florida, but I am also going to be expanding to the Savannah, Georgia area. Why well, there are lots of vids here on the channel uh, and more coming on why Southwest Florida is such a great option. So I'm not gonna rehash that here. Rather, I just wanna share eight reasons why if you've been considering the Naples and Marco Island area, you might also wanna consider Savannah and specifically the landings on Skidaway Island in Savannah. So with that, I want to thank you for tuning in as always, uh, liking and subscribing and sharing the videos. And let's dig in on those eight reasons why you might wanna consider the landings. First of these, if you are a golfer, uh, there are six courses at the landings with memberships available now. Uh, there are two Arnold Palmer courses, two Arthur Hills courses, one Tom Fazio and one Willard Bird. Uh, not only can you join today versus getting on a multi-year waiting list is the norm right now at so many courses in the Naples area, but you get all six of these courses for less than you pay for one course in the vast majority of Southwest Florida golf clubs today. Uh, $40,000 is the initiation fee here at the landings for a full golf membership. Uh, that does also include the uh, social and sports aspects as well, which I'll touch on a bit. But uh, for that golf membership, again, six courses, walk anytime with no greens fees or cart fees if you prefer to ride. Uh, there's also a trail fee option if you're going to play an awful lot where you can take your own golf cart out on the course uh, for a bit over $100 a month. Great variety in the courses. And across the board, there's there's a lot of quality. Uh, there's a Corn Ferry event that is played here each year. The Corn Ferry Q School is played here each year. Uh, and those are played on three separate courses of the six. Uh, there was just this past weekend, uh, at the time of this recording, there was the Sam Burns Classic, which is an AJGA event uh, that's held here each year. Uh, and just to, to top everything off in terms of the golf, with those six courses, they average under 300 members per course. So, uh, you know, well under, in fact, well under uh, 1,500 total golf members here. Uh, so you're, you're not waiting to get a tee time and fighting for those in the vast majority of cases. Moving on to number two, Perhaps golf isn't your forte or your interest. Uh, maybe maybe tennis is more your speed. There are courts at three of the five clubhouses that are housed here in the landings. Uh, and that of course also includes pickleball, as you might imagine. Landings is host to a USTA Challenger Tour event. Um, so you can certainly guess that racket sports community here in Savannah and, and in the landings in particular is really active and strong. Tons of fun and competitive events advertised uh, almost daily here. So definitely if racket sports is your thing, this is a place to consider. Moving on to number three, about other active interests. Maybe it's not golf, maybe it's not tennis, or maybe it's a little bit of both and a little bit of everything else. There are miles of trails to hike uh, here, to walk or bike. Uh, kayaking is an easy option with two marinas. Bocce, one of the top 10 private club gyms in the entire country is housed here at the landings. And uh, there are pools indoor and outdoor at multiple of the clubhouses. So the list can go on, but uh, that gives you a little bit of a taste of, of what your membership uh, could get you access to here at a very affordable price. Perhaps less active pursuits are also of interest or are of interest instead. There's rotating happy hour every weeknight at the various clubhouses here in the landings with specials including everything from free hors d'oeuvres to drink specials to half price oysters and other food discounts. So uh, it's it's really as a as a recent golfing partner said to me, he used to plan what he was going to do certain nights and, and have to block out that plan for those nights. Now he really blocks out nights when he's not going to do something because uh, it's so easy to find something very fun and interesting to do here. Moving on to number five on the list. If you, are you a boater? There are not one, but two marinas here within the gates of the landings. If you don't have your own boat, you can still join one of the clubs, uh, rent out a boat or a kayak, or simply enjoy life on the waterfront. 
uh, sharing some scenes here in this video from the marinas. Uh, just uh, you know, beautiful vistas. Uh, there's a carefree boat club here, so you have fractional ownership uh, essentially. Uh, or you know, as, as they say, it's like owning a boat without all the hassles of owning a boat. Uh, so yes, the boating the boating lifestyle is very strong here. The landings is located on an island off the coast of Savannah, the Skidaway Island, uh, with Spanish moss draped oaks standing next to palm trees and surrounded by spectacular marshes and the intercoastal. Uh, you can only imagine the range of wildlife that's here on, uh, on Skidaway Island. You know, toss in a state park as a neighbor just outside the gates of the landings, a University of Georgia Marine Education Center, an aquarium that also shares the island, and the wide swath of nature's beauty all around is, is really just everywhere you turn. Moving on to number seven, what about the convenience? It is on in an island, so you know that was certainly a consideration for me. How convenient was it going to be to take care of those day-to-day, week-to-week things that, that need to be taken care of in everyday life, which is so easy to forget about here? The answer is, is a pretty good one. Uh, no matter where you live in the landings, you're a short golf cart drive, and just about every resident has one, uh, FYI, and there are dedicated lanes on most of the property's roads for golf carts. Um, but you're just at a short golf cart drive from just about anything you might want or need. The village is right outside of a couple of the community gates here, and it offers a Publix, a pharmacy with a post office, there's a library, a gas station, multiple banks and financial advisors, a neighborhood grill and bar, and, and so much more in a charming setting that, that looks like it came off a movie set. Uh, and if you can't get it at the village, everything that Savannah has to offer is across the bridge and seemingly about 15 to 20 minutes away at most to just about everything, with the exception of Costco, which is in Pooler and is uh, 30 to 40 minutes away, but uh, worth the trip, even though there isn't a liquor store at that, at that Costco. So that was one of the downsides uh, here. That brings me to number eight, my final consideration for you, and that is affordability. You know, I saved this $64,000 question for last or, or miraculously, more accurately, perhaps the $1 million answer. Uh, let's face it, affordable housing options in Naples and Marco are, are fewer and far between. Even a million dollar budget is no guarantee of finding a great fit for you uh, in, the, in Southwest Florida. And despite all the great features and amenities of the landings that I've shared here today, you can still buy a single family home in the 2,500 to 3,000 square foot range for under a million dollars. And in some cases for considerably less. The inventory is, is relatively tight here as well as it is around most of the country, but there are some definite, uh, definitely affordable options relative to Southwest Florida. I'll be sharing a lot more about the landings and Savannah in future videos, including an upcoming companion to this episode, talking about why the area might not be right for some of you considering Southwest Florida. Now, as always, my goal is to help you find the best home for you, wherever that may be. If that's here in Georgia, if that's back in my home, my old home in Naples, uh, somewhere in between or somewhere else in, uh, completely, uh, please reach out anytime to discuss your particular real estate needs with me. Um, I'll be happy to help you uh, to, to narrow the field or expand the field as the case may be. Uh, and look forward to having that conversation with you. Until then, thanks again for tuning into the channel and liking, subscribing and sharing. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks so much.